Some big personalities were in that meeting today, and they each had some strong opinions about how the stadium should be funded. Our team coverage continues with 13 Action News political analyst John Ralston with more on the inside story of today's meeting. Hey, John. Hi there, Steve. You know, this really seems like Groundhog Day. We're hearing the same thing over and over again at these meetings. And Brian neatly captured what the real holdup is now. It's on the profit sharing, and it's on the percentage or the amount of the public contribution, $750 million. They are not giving on that at all. The question is, number one, what percentage of it, of the, the total is that going to be? The stadium might cost 1.3, might cost 1.5, might cost 1.9. The public might be on the hook for more than half of this. As much as the developers are saying that they will pay for any cost overruns, that is not the issue for the public. The issue for the public is that the county is going to issue bonds, and if those bonds cannot be paid off by room taxes, the public will have to pay through a tax increase or the county would have to cut services. They don't want to talk about it. But what you saw here today, I think, was a lot of frustration on the part of the committee. They can't get these issues resolved, and I think, frankly, they'll be lucky to get a vote out of the committee uh, next week. Back to you.